Good Thursday morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Alexa Trishler with WWL Louisiana. It is Thursday, October 23rd already, 9.02 in the morning central time. We're here to bring you the latest on the tropics. Thank you for joining us for Tropical Weather Impact. We are watching one system, Tropical Storm Melissa in the Caribbean Sea. We've been tracking it now for the last couple of days. Tropical Storm Melissa is going to be spending a lot of time in the Caribbean. Storms firing for the central part of the Caribbean Sea. Some rain happening for Hispaniola now, and it's likely going to strengthen going into the coming days. So here's the latest information on Tropical Storm Melissa located in the Caribbean Sea. Winds at 50 miles per hour, gusting to 65, moving to the northwest at 5 miles per hour. So it is crawling right now, and it's going to be just spending a whole bunch of time over the Caribbean Sea and as it sits over the very warm waters, it will strengthen this weekend into early next week, likely to a powerful major category four hurricane sometime either later this weekend through early next week as it sits very close by or almost on top of Jamaica. So some significant impacts are likely for parts of the islands going into the weekend through early next week, specifically Jamaica, Haiti, the Dominican Republic and Cuba will be seeing big impacts from Melissa, likely a category four storm in its life cycle later on in just a few days from now. We're talking very heavy rain, strong winds, significant flooding, and it's going to be a prolonged event for them down there. So if you have any friends or family down there, make sure they know what's coming for them, that they're prepared for this. And if you have any travel plans, any vacation plans down there, this is something you're really going to have to pay attention to this weekend through pretty much the first part of next week. So we'll track it with our European model, the precision cast to watch how it progresses going into the rest of the work week and for the weekend. So it will continue to strengthen as it sits over the warm Caribbean waters just nearby Jamaica, getting stronger this weekend into early next week, barely moving at all. As it gets stronger and stronger, it'll eventually start to drift more to the north and northeast. This is next Tuesday, so by Monday and Tuesday, it will get some movement to it with our upper pattern starting to direct it off to the northeast. But these, this is really going to be a pretty bad setup for Jamaica and the islands going into the weekend through early next week with a prolonged major hurricane sitting over the islands. So this is going to be a big deal event when it comes to rain, wind and flooding. And then going into the middle part of next week, it finally gets some more movement as it moves over Cuba. We're talking more impacts for Cuba and parts of Hispaniola for the middle part of next week. And eventually Melissa will get directed off to the northeast. Parts of the, ba the Bahamas will see some impacts as it gets pulled off to the northeast by next Thursday, almost a week from now or one week from today, actually. So this is going to be a long time event that we'll be tracking and it stays down in the Caribbean and eventually gets directed off to the northeast into the Atlantic Ocean. So at this point, there are some tropical watches and warnings in effect for Jamaica and for Haiti. There is a hurricane watch in effect for Haiti, tropical storm warning and a hurricane watch for Jamaica now. So this is going to be a significant event for the islands in the coming days, really over the next week. Unfortunately, not a good setup. So just keep that in mind if you have any friends or family or plans to travel down there in the next week. So Melissa, Tropical Storm Melissa is our 13th named storm of the season. The next name on the list is Nestor, but there are no other spots we are tracking out in the Atlantic Basin. The Gulf Coast is going to stay quiet over the next 10 days. I really think we could probably close the book on hurricane season when it comes to our part of the Gulf Coast across southeast Louisiana and south Mississippi. No tropical concerns for us over the next 10 days. Melissa is not going to be entering the Gulf. In fact, once it moves through the Caribbean and goes into the into the Atlantic, it's going to get directed away from the United States out into the open ocean about one week from now. So still a long time to track it. So as we get to the end of hurricane season, we're way past the peak of hurricane season. It's almost November. I mean, next week, next weekend is already November and November 30th is the final day of hurricane season. So things are quieting down. Of course, we're still watching Melissa, but things are going to continue to trend downward as we get to the final day of hurricane season on November 30th. Thanks so much for watching us on Tropical Weather Impact. We'll be bringing you more on the tropics on our next edition of Tropical Weather Impact tomorrow morning.